This display case features a large number of film commercials in a wide variety of languages running on a TV screen. A number of cartoons, some very amusing, are also displayed. The world's very first cartoon commercial, with both music and speech, was almost certainly made by Nilfisk. The same display case contains the company's best-selling domestic vacuum cleaner, the G70, popularly known as the keg on wheels. Production of the G70 began in 1958 and continued up until 1999 when smart new vacuums with sloping fronts arrived. When the company decided to discontinue production of the G70, the manufacturing equipment was sold, the plant in Dalmorsa was closed and the press used to make the casings was removed to our museum store. It was the end of a chapter. And then a strange thing happened. Young people around the world, initially in New Zealand and Japan, I believe, began to rave about the design of the G70 and wanted to own one. So what do you do when you want to restart production but no longer have the equipment? Well, Nilfis found a subcontractor in Horsens who could produce the casings, because the casings were the problem. A solution could always be found for the manufacture of the top and the motor. Production of the new G70 commenced early in the new millennium. The new model is a slightly fancier version with a brush holder, black plastic top and similar features. Nilfisk started by making a numbered series for collectors. These models cost 4,400 kroner apiece and stock sold out long ago. Annual G70 sales number around 15,000. In actual fact, domestic vacuum cleaners are no longer made in Denmark at all. Production was outsourced several years ago, some being made in the Far East and some being made in Sweden and Italy. Nilfisk's focus these days is on production of professional cleaning equipment, industrial floor washers, sweepers, high pressure sprays, street cleaners and so on. None of this production takes place in Denmark. Nilfisk is headquartered here where we are and also has a few storage facilities here. On the back wall we have a NASA photo of two white clad figures carrying out vacuuming. And it's fascinating to learn that NASA has been using Nilfis vacuum cleaners to clean its spacecraft since 1969. The reason they do so is not because Nilfisk vacuums are vastly superior to all the rest, but because of Nilfisk's fantastic filter systems. And in the wake of the World Trade Center disaster, when all those letters containing anthrax bacteria began flying around in the United States, the US Postal Service invested in a very considerable number of Nilfisk vacuum cleaners, presumably on the recommendation of some organization or other that knew that they were used by NASA. Mm -hmm.